Hello everyone, welcome to the Broken Cats, everyone's favorite Tokusatsu podcast. On this podcast we talk about we talk about stuff like we talk about stuff like Tokusatsu, anime, superhero stuff, Marvel, DC, many other uh famous famous genres. So yeah, I'm your host, my name's Broku or my name's Aaron, and today I just finished watching Rios, we are, we see, we see. I just finished watching Tokyo, okay. And uh, I have thoughts. I have thoughts. All right. So who can I start with? Okay. Let's start with freaking uh, Red, right? His name was right, right toe. I call him, I'm calling him Red. Let's start with Red. Red. Uh, yeah, he's boring. I'm I'm s i am i hate to break it. I'm sorry, but uh, he kinda of boring. He like uh, okay. He I said it to myself that I fuck, he reminds me of Daigo. But at the same time he reminded me of Arata from Ghost Sager. And we all know how to feel about Ghost Sager in this podcast. If you haven't seen that episode, I recommend go watch my Ghost Sager review because that review just Oh boy. But yeah, he he he's like a White, I work a whitewash. No, he's like a uninteresting version of Daigo. Because like the whole time watching the show, I was like, why do you, why does he remind me of Daigo? And why does this music that they use for every time we when he gives a serious moment sound like the exact same music from Kiryuger? Why? Just why? Well, I'm gonna guess that it's, pro- it's probably the same product. It's probably like the same person to the same music. But besides that, it's like, why do you remind me of Daigo? Like, your inspirational speeches doesn't work. No, sorry, it doesn't doesn't work. Like, he's like out of we. The reason why I say like out of time because out of time, gives these big speeches about. About, about finding hope and saving the humanity and all that crap and go sager, right? Yeah, it felt like the same thing here. It just doesn't work for him. He, it just doesn't work for him. Cause like the whole time he's on screen, like the whole time he was on screen, I was like, why is this our Red Ranger? Like I know it took you. I know that. I know that Tokyo's at the last show on my t- list for Heisei Sentai to finish, but like, why is he, why, why is Raito so bland? He's just boring, that's it. I have like, nothing, I have like nothing else to say, like, he's just boring. Like, <laughs> it's just me, but uh, he felt like, if you mix Daigo and Arata together, you get some kind of wash knockoff version of both of those characters mixed into one person, and you get this guy. Okay, he's just bland. Not to death. He's just, well, he doesn't have, like, a character, like, any focused episodes. <laughs> like, <laughs> and the fact that I brought up filter, like, like, Tokyuger, oh wait, some of the characters, some of the characters have like focus episodes. Blue has like what, two or three? Yellow has like two or three? Green has like two or three? Same for pink, and same for a six ranger. Red, he has none. Like, he has like no focus episode whatsoever. Like, for real. I watched all 47 episodes. He had, like, no focus episode. Focus on him only. None. None. Just. Just none. And. And, like. Why? Like. I'm like. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Why is there not no focus episode on him? Well, because, like. Ghost Sager had the exact same problem with Adita. And it didn't work in Ghost Sager. Here, it felt like they, it felt like that they just forgot to do, fo- they, just, they just forgot, sorry. They forgot to give him a focus episode because it just, 
He got like none. He's like, eh. why do I? Why should I care about you? Because like, I actually don't. Because like, you're on like my, you're on like one of my least interesting characters in the show. So yeah, so yeah, about Red, about Raito. He's boring. So move on. Move on to Blue. Ah, uh, Blue. I'll be honest. What is his character? I mean, like, besides him having a crush on Mio, the Yellow Ranger. But what is his character? Besides him. No, for what is his character besides him having a crush on Yellow Ranger? Oh, he doesn't have one? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> no, for real. No, for real. Like, what is his character? Because. I try. I said to myself all time. I said to myself all time for watching the show. I'm like, is he my hide of this season? Because we all know how I feel about Hyde. <laughs> I made pretty clear how much I hate that guy in my Girl Sage review. But I like, is he my hide of this season? Honestly, no. He's not my hide of this season. He's just unfunny. That's. That's it. He's just unfunny. Like, I get it. He's the clumsy one in the group, but, like, he's not funny. He's honestly annoying, but he's not the annoyingest one out of the main, out of the group. We'll get on to her really soon. Yeah, he's just unfunny. That's all. He's not fu He's, like... I don't see anything. I, I can't... I don't see anything... I don't see, like, anything good about this guy. I wouldn't say good, no. I just don't see, like, what's so... What the big deal about this guy's character being so funny to people. Listen, if if, if you love Tokyo, that's totally fine and understandable. I, I respect your... I, I respect your opinion. Huh? <clears throat> but, this, but this is just me saying that... Ah, uh, he's not funny or good character. He's just... He remind. This is actually unfair comparison, but I'm gonna say it. He reminds me of the Green Ranger from Lupat, and yet the Green Ranger from Lupat is a crappy, shitty character. Yes, but at the same time, I read. I won't know. I'll take this guy over him any day. But like, he just this a Blue Ranger is just. He isn't good. He just. <sighs> Hard to, it's hard to say this about him. Like, what the freak is his character? Besides him being supportive friend and all that. Like, he... He's alright, I guess. Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't. He's not good. I don't see, I don't see the big fuss about this guy. So moving on, Blue's... So overall, Blue's just bland. Moving on to freaking, uh... I'll save the I'll save the I'll save those three for the I'll save those three guys like those three characters. So let's talk about Pink. Ugh, okay. Hear me out. I think Pink is I think Kagura is the area this season because my fucking god. She's so annoying. No offense to the actress, no. But the character is fucking annoying as shit. With her high pitched voice and her annoying whiny and nagging. She felt like she felt like she the area this season. And I fucking hate Ari. Because Aerie's a dumbass and go say to her. And it felt like it here she is and yeah. She pretty much is like she pretty much is like Airy 2.0. Because the whole time, I was just like, why, why, why are you a character? Please, stop talking. Stop, stop talking. Just shut up. Stop talking. I don't like you. You remind me of another penguin that's so annoying. And one of, and what's the worst part about that? She had a focused episode, focused around, focus around her and freaking cake. About her making a cake for her best friend. For Mew. I'm like, oh, so you want to know how to bake cake? Wait a minute. But do you really have Pink Ranger that have a focus episode focused around her baking cake? 
So why they copy it from Ghost Sager? Like what? Again, then no. Tokusa copied a lot of stuff from other Sentai's for this show, and I'll get on. I'll get on that soon once we talk about the villains. But uh, like for real though, why why does it feel like I'm watching Ghost Sager again? I don't want to feel like I'm watching Ghost Sager. I fucking hate Ghost Sager. And dude, I'm sorry, but this show just made me want to hit a fucking wall, like. What I mean by that, it felt like I want to hit a fucking wall every time she was on screen. Okay, no, that's going too far. I'll say this. Every time she was on screen, I was just like, Ugh. She bored, she bored me, okay? She was just boring. She wasn't interesting. She wasn't funny. She was annoying due to her high pitch and just her clumsiness. Just like the Blue Ranger. <sighs> I can't stand her, because she's like the fucking, she's like the second dumbass of, of the team, I can say. And that doesn't say much. Ugh, moving on from the bad character, let's talk about some good ones. Let's talk about Green, uh, Haruki, I mean, Haruki, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, Haruki. Let's talk about, fuck, let's talk about Green, I'm sorry. Let's, let's, let's talk about Green, shall we? Uh, I like him. I like Haruki, okay? I like him. He's that Haruki. Sorry. I like him, okay? He's actually my favorite kid in the show. Not gonna lie. He was, uh... How can I say this? He basically... He was the type of guy that, that just doesn't give an F about anything. And I like that about him. He felt, like he, he felt like he was the second leader of the team, which I freaking love, by the way. He reminded me a little bit of Hoji from Decker Ranger. I fucking love Hoji. We all know that I love Decker Ranger, but still. He reminded me of Hoji. Cause he, cause Hoji was the second second in command of the team, yes. But at the same time, same time, he was like the sniper of the team. While this guy wasn't the sniper of the team, no. That was blue, but, but yeah. But yet, but yet, the Blue Ranger had a shitty job of being a sniper of the team. Just saying. Hideki over here, which was just, uh, but I'm sorry I'm butchering his name wrong. But, uh, he was just, like, he was just a chill guy. And I like him. <laughs> I like him. When, uh, when, when we got, in, when, uh, when we got introduced to our sixth Ranger, he basically told Raito, Hey, I just want to tell you that I don't trust him. So, there's also that, and I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> and god damn it, he felt like, he felt like that he should have been Red. He felt, it felt like he should have been the Red Ranger of the team, not Raito. But that's just me. Overall, I like Hakari. He's just cool. He's just cool. He's just cool. I like him. He's just awesome. I like him. I like his attitude. I like his character. His actor did a good job playing him. He get it, and my boy. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about like uh. Let, so let's talk about Mio, my uh, second favorite Tokyo. <laughs> what can I say about her? Well, she's like she's like she's like the Monone of this season. Like, if you know who Monone Monone is, you know, talk about Girl Sager for a second. She's like Monone of this season, but yeah. But yeah, C had like a way more interesting character than Monet from Ghost Sager. Just saying. Okay, so what I mean by that, that uh, she's alright. I mean, she's cute. Besides that, she's alright though. She's more, she had like, she had like more interesting plot, you kind of say, character than uh, Monet. Besides Monet just being the stereotypical sassy sister who who's strong as heck. Uh freaking uh Mio was pretty much the exact same thing here. She's like the biss the biss. The biss <laughs> The Biss of Evil. No, not watching the storm, no. <laughs> She's like the big sister of the group. We yeah, at the same time she was tired of people's BS and I like that. Moon was the Moon was the exact same thing to all the Ghost Sagers. 
Including to Aerie, you know, I like that. And I like that about Monet. Uh, pretty much the exact same energy you hear from, from Ghost Age as well, though, so. It's also that. I'm sorry, but like, it's also that, too. What else can I say about her? Like, what is her, what is her character besides? What is her character? Like, what is her character besides uh, her being like the big sister of the group? And calling people out for their BS? She doesn't have one. Oh, crap. She doesn't have one. Dang, that's just sad. She doesn't have a character, though. She doesn't have a character. Wait, she does no, no, she doesn't have a character. Damn, that just sucks. <laughs> and then we got, then we go on to my, well, I guess we could go, ah, wait. Well, I think, does she even have a character? No, no, she doesn't, though. Damn, like, Try to think about that. What the freak was her character in the show? Because, like, her, like, somewhat, I want to say folk episode, her somewhat focus episode, she, she, had, she had, like, what, one or two? And it was just, and it was just bland. Like, they weren't good. Yeah, and then one of them was a body switching episode. And I freaking hate F. Oh, right, a little hot take here. Just, I cannot stand body stretching. I cannot. I did not like body stretching episodes anymore in my toku. I'm sorry, but after the it just it just stopped being fun because it's just getting annoying at this point. After like Decker Ranger and Zenkaiser. The body switching concept for Sentai and Power Ranger, mostly Sentai, got too old. It's just not that fun anymore. And I'm going to say this again once I get to GoGo -Go 5. Because remember, there's a body switching episode in GoGo -Go 5. Ugh. So, anyway, back on the saying, Yellow, she's alright. I like, I like Mew. She doesn't have a character, but but yeah, at the same time, it's wherever I prefer. So I move on to uh, Akari, uh, Toku 6. What can I say about this guy that I like? Well, he's like the Masako this season, but yeah, Masako is the complete opposite of this guy. Cut in Geoja, Masako is your, in is your sensitive nerd who has a lot of deep and insecurity. He's basically me. I fucking love him. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> and uh, take all that from Geoja and put it in Tokyo, but yet yeah, make our six rangers the complete opposite. And I freaking like that about this guy. <laughs> His fighting style is funny. <laughs> and I love. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I. Uh, He's just fall <laughs> He's comedic, yes. But at the same time he felt like he felt a little bit like Ghost Say Night and Time Fire to me. And Masako as well, and I like that about him. He's mostly my comedic character of the whole group. So there's also that as well. But But I gotta say this. His uh, backstory of why he left, why he left the Dark Forces, that's what I'm calling it by the way, why he left the uh, uh, Dark Forces, it's really dumb. It's just dumb. Like, it's just dumb. The main reason why he left is because, it's because he was making, it's because he was, it's because he was making rain every day for people. I'm like, oh, so basically you're being Mother Nature. And that's why you left? That's just... Stupid. Like, I know, I'm supposed to be stupid, but still, that's just... Stupid. That's not the same level be dumb, just like freaking, uh... I want to say animate, not animate, no. Freaking, uh... What the hell was his name for Wild Force? Fuck. Uh... Master Org, yeah, just like freaking Master Org made 
reason why he became a villain because well, watch Wall for for that spoiler. That's all I'm gonna say. So back so back as I was saying. So back on as I was saying. It's yeah. His, the re, the maybe the main reason why he left is just dumb. That's it. And also, I want to say this. I love his uh, catch rate. Can I say saying that thing? I love it. I love his catch rate. Basically, saying that, saying that he's gonna die this one praise. I'm like, okay, buddy. Okay, but keep saying that. Okay, and this race car outside my house. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I just I just heard a race car outside my house, and that's pretty weird. <laughs> really weird. So back on saying. Maybe I'll a car. Sorry, so back on saying. Uh after like uh so after like he keeps saying catch trade, it just got old and like it just got old and unfunny. Like, okay dude, I get it, I get it, you want to die. But yeah, it's just Ugh it's just not It's just not funny anymore after after like what, six I I, I like uh, Act like what his sixth attempt, six times saying it. It's just not funny anymore. It's just kind of annoying. I, I I like his suit and fighting style. Actor did a good job. I like the character, but like besides that, yeah, n yeah, no, he's just. I like him for being my communicator, but at the same time, he's just really bland. So don't have a character. Like no. I know he's supposed to be all serious, but at the same time, I I did enjoy that. Uh, I did enjoy that uh, he had to betrayal. He had to betray them to fight uh, our main villain. But besides that, he's just bland. That's all. And that 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 actually that actually got on my nerves though because like I'm sorry, but like mostly like all the ranger except for. Tokyo Six, not no, except for Hakade and Mio, are just bland. And I'm like, okay, what's your ca okay? What are you guys character? Okay, Pink is just the annoying, freaking annoying one with the pitch voice. Okay, okay, red is basically a shoulder anime character. Blues are dork. Green just oh no. I, I like Hakai. I'm not gonna roast him. No, I'm not gonna roast Hakai. I like him. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> yellow is just our generic strong strong yellow ranger of the group kinda of say, but yet same time she's like the big sister of the group. And then we got orange. Who has who who's funny, but at the same time he's bland as hell, and that just doesn't work for me. Well, I guess I could talk about the side characters. Uh, the president of the of the Rainbow Train Company, whatever the hell it's called. He wasn't funny. Move on. He was kind of useless. Move on. So, uh, the conductor of the uh, Tokyo train. Yeah, uh, uh, I didn't like him. Sorry, he was just dumb. Move on. Then we got the robot. I fucking hate the robot. Oh, I gotta go on a little rant here. Toei, what the hell's up with you guys? Sexual, sexualizing this damn robot. Around 2014. Tell me, this is a kid's show. This is not a porn. This is not porn hub. Please stop saying. Please stop with the fucking sexual in your windows in your kid's shows. Kids are watching. Yes, I know. If I don't say Broku, it's Japan. I get that, but guess what? It make it pretty clear and obvious in their show that they did not give a flying F. Let me say this. This comes from me. I did not have a wife or a kid. But this could... Sorry. This is coming from me. I did not have a wife or a kid. And I'm saying it's a benefit of the doubt. 
Tully, what's up with what what the hell were you guys thinking by sexualizing this robot? Like what the fuck? Like for real though. Like were you guys really like were you guys really that horny or something on twenty fourteen? Like Jesus Christ. She was annoying. Like I didn't like it that one bit. I wanted her the whole time watching, I was like, why are you on screen? Why did Tori sexualize this robot? Why? Just why? I feel sorry for the suit actress, but that just felt that's just uncomfortable to watch. Just saying. Ugh. So let's move on to our villains, I guess. I guess we'll save our final villain for for last. So let's talk about uh who who are we talk about? Who the fuck are we talk about? Uh, Schwartz, I guess. Yeah, his name's Schwartz in the show. Not the Schwartz from Zio, it's a different Schwartz. Uh, what's, what can I say about him besides him, uh, being a man of his word? I mean, I like his, I kind of like his rivalry with, uh, Tokyo 6, Rikati, but besides that, he, he was just... He was just boring. That's that's all. He was just boring. Like I cannot think about one one notable trait from him for watching the whole entire show. Let's see. Besides him, besides his rivalry with our six ranger, what else? What else? What other character trait did he have? No, that's it. That's all. That's exactly all. That's exactly all. And then we have uh, Glinta. Actually, Glinta was man. I'm not gonna attack her. I'm not gonna attack her. She was just, she was just there. So whatever. Then we got her mom, Void Queen. <coughs> That's why I said Void Queen. I said Void Queen, due 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 to the fact that uh, Hasbro using her costume in a uh, Dino Fairy. So yeah. So <sighs> drinks of water. She was just, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. She was, she was, she had, she was pointless. Okay, she was just a useless character. Just like she wasn't even a good villain at best. She was just a pointless character, though. I mean, first half, basically, she did not care for her daughter. She only she only just using her daughters so she so so her daughter become the empress of that kingdom. But yeah, that backfired on her plan. Then she saved her daughter, but at the same time, uh Fuck, what the hell was her name? <laughs> I just said it. <clears throat> I just said it too, whatever. Then uh, she saved her daughter, but at the same time she got killed. So what yeah. So whatever. Just whatever. And then we had like the other two villains are useless. Whatever. Move on. And then we gotta talk about uh Zed. Okay, I gotta say this. I'm gonna go on rant for saying this. Kobayashi, with all due respect. Explain to me why the fuck did you copy Zed and uh Raito's? Why the fuck do you why the fuck do you took Hiramu and entered rivalry from Ghostbuster and put it in here for Zed and Raito? And what I mean by that is this. So basically, the main reason why a Red Ranger has so much darkness in the house. It's because when he was a little kid, uh, Zed kidnapped him and put him on, on that evil train. I forgot the train name. Fucking, fucking, for fuck's sake. And, and that's mostly why our Raven has so much darkness. Because, well, he was kidnapped and consumed with this since he was a kid. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much fucking it. 
That's pretty much fucking it. That's why. Honestly, the main, the main reason I say that because like the whole rivalry just felt like a copy and paste of Enter and uh, here and move from Ghostbuster. And no, Kobayashi, no, stop, Kobayashi, no, just, just stop. Why are you copying from your past work and put it in here? That's fucking lazy. Like, it's like it's understandable. It's understandable that you have idea. But, like, just, just the way that you. The way that you executed the show was just abysmal and bad. So no, 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 no. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. With all due respect to Kobayashi, I like Go Buster. I love Shin Kinger. but I think I think what she did here was fucking lazy and wasn't good storytelling for for these two because like Zed just felt like. So Zed just felt like Enter 2.0 basically because he because he was trying to find the freaking shine. Like okay, okay, Enter, calm down. Just don't be just don't speak French, French, okay? Because well, Enter speaks French in uh, Go Buster, but you don't know that. This is like. <laughs> It's just hard for me to say it, but like his whole rivalry. Okay. Okay, my dog's barking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, my dog's barking. But like, okay, again, okay. his. Okay, my dog <laughs> he barking. His whole rivalry felt like. It felt like that Kobayashi look at her past work from Go Busters. And put it in Tokyo and thought saying no one will no one will recognize it. But apparently I know apparently I know apparently I know I'm not the only one who noticed this. And uh I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the I'm sorry, but it just felt lazy. Like you don't have to take like <sighs> Eyes aside for my love for like, for my love for this show, but uh, here's I will say I gotta say this. I wasn't a big fan how Kawa took. I wasn't a big fan how Kawa took Abba Killer took the maybe the white Abba Killer white not good sense it been found. I wasn't a big fan how Kawa, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> lol. I wasn't a big fan of how Kawa took, took the took the freaking logic what make Abba Killer evil the whole entire time, saying, "Oh no, see Abba Killer, oh no, see see knock it off, see Abba Killer." Maybe the main reason why you've been evil the whole time because I, this somewhat evil virus inside you, was controlling you. Akara took that from Abba Ranger and put in Care Major for freaking uh. I want to say crunchy or no. For freaking, uh, fuck. Fuck, damn it. <laughs> for fucking, uh, what the hell was his name again? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Garza, yeah. For, for Garza. For Gojo. <laughs> and that was just like, yeah, I didn't like that. And Kira Major. I love Kira Major, but still, that part, but, but still, that part was just, that part was just stupid and annoying. I didn't like that. I'm sorry. And it felt like Kobayashi did the exact same here, but with Ghostbusters and Tokyo. And it fucking didn't work out as he wanted to. Like, fucking hell. Like, he, he, was, he was interesting in the beginning when he first appeared. Like, okay, this guy's cool. Then, like, later on, he keep whining about he keep whining about him finding the shine, the shine, the shine. Like, okay, buddy, we get it. Okay, you want light in your darkness. But yet, but yet, then, but yet, after the uh, after uh, he couldn't get the shine, he was just whining, saying that I only see darkness. I'm like, okay, buddy, keep grieve, keep grieving, keep like being emo. Okay, 
Don't be like Kento from Saber. <laughs> only see darkness and darkness only. I'm like, okay, buddy, we hear you. Now stop whining. No, he wasn't whining. He was just, getting, he was just being annoying by, by saying, I only see darkness. Like, I, sh I can shit you not. I shit you not. I cannot give you one character trait about this guy being the final villain, except for him having a sex weird relationship with a Red Ranger. That, that that's 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 pretty much it, literally that's all. I shit you not, I cannot think of nothing else. For real, I cannot think of nothing else about this guy. Besides the fact he has a weird obsession with a, with a Red Ranger. And also, when uh when they show uh when they show the dark Ichigo once Tokyo Ichigo one suit, and I thought oh and I thought I fucking thought I freaking thought that a Zed Zed I thought that Zed was gonna transform into Tokyo one because because that suit fit perfectly for him. But uh, yeah, no, 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 no. They he he didn't. I don't know. Hey, although it was pretty cool seeing turn to Tokyo Six a little bit. But besides that, man, wasted. It just he was just wasted. He was just wasted. I mean, I like his monster form. But besides that, there's, there's like there's like nothing else to say about this guy. So yeah. <coughs> oh bless you. Oh, excuse me. Like, besides that, besides that, there's like nothing else to say about this guy. So, uh, moving on to the mechs, I guess you could say. Mechs are boring. Like, the helmets are cool. But besides that, the mechs, the mechs doesn't look good for this show. And like, I'm not like, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not like a big mech guy, but still. I know, I know, I know. They're all based on trains, I get that, but still, the mechs don't look cool in this show. They just don't. They look... <laughs> all the mechs in this show look god-awful, I'm sorry, but they just fucking do. They look weird, too, like... Like, the, like, the first Tokyo mech looks so weird in that skinny form, like... Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm sorry, but no, it looked like a fucking skinny potato chip. Like, how the hell are the helmets the coolest part about these mechs? Just saying. Sorry about that. Like, how the heck are the, how the heck are the helmets the best part about these mechs? I'm just saying. All the mechs are just... Bad. That's a. That's just it. They're just bad. They look. I can't see now because of all. Okay. They all look like shit. Okay. They. All, they all look like fucking shit. Simple as that. Can I say that? I. I didn't like the uh, comedic. The comedic moments in the show because like they were just unfunny. Like. <clears throat> Like, I say to myself, like, I say to myself, like, was Kobayashi trying to make this into, like, the Sentai version of Cure Major? Because, like, the Cure Major is funny and serious at the same time. Yes, also, the show, the show doesn't take itself very seriously, which is, which, which is, which is which is good because the show is aware of that. But here, uh, here it tr it tried to copy being funny and serious. It just didn't. It just didn't work that well. Like okay, let's compare Tokyo to a Sentai that I don't talk about that much. Go Onger. Go Onger is more of a relaxed comedic cheesy Sentai, but yet. But yeah, Sentai also had a lot of serious moments for his characters. Perfect example is when uh, Sosuke died. That that actually did hit me. I'm not gonna lie. I actually like Sosuke. <laughs> that uh, that punched a lot of people in the face. 
And uh and uh that worked there. That actually worked there. So <laughs> that worked there. Because it it was a serious moment for him. That actually worked there. Compared to like a comedic scene with our Blue Ranger here that was just being clumsy and being like Well, yeah, it's just clumsy. Yeah, it doesn't work here. It doesn't work here because Kobayashi isn't like Junko in fucking Akawa. Getting down, I'm not the biggest, getting down, getting down, I have my criticism towards Junko's writing because I'm not her biggest fan of her writing because, well, she went for Lupat. No offense to her, but we both know how I feel about Lupat. <laughs> but it's just. It felt like Kobayashi was trying to copy Akawa and Junko's writing for being comedic and serious. It just didn't it just didn't work. It worked perfectly in seasons like Shinkinger, Go Busters, Go Onger, Hell, even the shitty, even the most mid even the most mid comedy season with Yuki. It worked perfectly there as well. It's just here it doesn't work. It just doesn't work here. I said Junko. I meant Kobayashi. My bad. Yeah, it just doesn't work here for. Just, 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 it just doesn't work here for those seasons because like Kobayashi wrote for Olds and like he, I know Olds is serious, but at the same time also comedic and well aware of that it just while I didn't while while Olds wasn't for me wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't like Olds, okay? The show, the show did have comedic moments, had serious moments as well. But there, it worked perfectly due, due to the cast, well, I don't know, due, due to the character writing that she did. Here, it didn't work for, like, it didn't work for them. Just, just saying. Like, I don't know. Like again, it felt again. It just felt like that. Uh, it just felt like that. Kobayashi was taking stuff from freaking GoBusters and put it in here for Zed and Raito. Not for that. Just like, not just that. It felt like that. It felt like it felt like Kobayashi was taking stuff from Kiryuger, Go Go Sager. And go buster and put it in here. It just didn't it didn't work out. I'm sorry, it just it didn't work out, in my opinion. I'm sorry. I'm listen, okay. Alright. If you like if, if you like the show, that's totally fine and simple. You can like the show. But just for me personally, for me only, it didn't work for me. Do it do I think the show do I do I think the show get overhyped? Yes, yes I do. I know Tokyo is a popular Sentai in Japan. I get that. It's a popular Sentai series. But just for me personally It just doesn't it just doesn't work out. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work out. That's uh that that's I actually sucked on. I got a lot. I really did like. I really did want to like this show. It just, I feel like it just uh, binge watching like what three days straight. It didn't fucking work. It just didn't fucking work with me. It felt like I was watching. It felt like it felt like I was watching a copy and paste of other Sentai, which I wasn't a big fan of. Which is like one of my hell. I even I think I said I think I said the exact same thing in my Reed Soldier review that that we Soldier tried to copy off Path or Dinosaur Sentai and it didn't work for that show. I'm saying the same. And I'm saying the same thing here. It just it doesn't work. It just doesn't work here. Like fuck. 
bonus, like, like a little bit of a brownie point because Psychic Love was saying one good song here in the show. But besides that, besides that, and like, besides that, and Hakate and Mio and Tokyo Sick being my favorite character in the show, everything else about this show just sucks. I, I really want to like this show. I did. I really did. Not gonna lie. It just. Fuck. It just didn't work out. Well. Oh. And don't give me. I want to. I'm not. I'm not even done. I'm not, not even done with this freaking review. But I'm just saying. It just didn't work out for me. So. Uh, I guess I'll talk about. Uh, I guess I can talk about the power out for this show. Hyper Toku 6. It looked like fucking shit. It reminded me of the gold power. It reminded me of the golden armor that it reminded me of the golden armor that the Packer Rangers use in Lupat. And, and then that's also shit. Yeah, then all the Packer Rangers suits, all the Packer Rangers suits suits in Lupat are fucking awful. So they're all complete hot garbage, all four of them. So, yeah. Yes, including their freaking weird fusion form. That's also shit. <sighs> uh, what else can I say about this show? Uh, what else can I say? Well, the fight choreography is good. It felt like, uh... It felt like one. It felt like one. Nabe was trying to copy off Koichi at times, but still. Besides that, I, yeah, I haven't. I haven't anything else to say about the show. Like, fuck. And what's sad that I said that I really want to like the show because, well, <laughs> I watched Ghost Sager and I saved Tokyo's for last. Saying, you know what? Maybe Tokyo will maybe Tokyo will, 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 will take that bad taste out of my mouth because how bad and boring Ghost Sage treated me. And uh Yeah no Yeah no go yeah no uh Tokyo is, is just as bad as Ghost Sager. Fuck It just Damn it What the hell? The theme song's catchy, and I'm, and I can't be mad at that. Congratulations for Train Fourteen for them getting an award, though for getting get, getting get, for them getting a train award. That's pretty cool. But besides that, yeah, no, like, no, no, the 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 whole like train gimmick thing didn't work for me. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not. Like I'm not like I'm like I'm not even a big fan of trains, but still, it just doesn't work for me though. I mean, I like the suit. The suits are cool, but besides that, hyper uh Tokyo, hyper Tok, the hyper form for for Tokyo just look like crap. Hate that. The whole imagination subplot of, of why our Red Ranger went on the wrong train is fucking stupid. And. What else can I say? Oh yeah, these these kids were kidnapped, basically, pretty much, and and, and they lost and they lost their childhood. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but yeah, they lost their childhood, like. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're like, like, there's, there's nothing else for me to say besides that. Like, again, I really wanted to like this show. I really did. But it just, it didn't work out. That's, it's as simple as that. It just didn't work out. <clears throat> so, what are my final thoughts? Am I thinking, am I forgetting like any other character? Am I, no. I didn't watch the movie or the V cinemas. I probably will go check out Tokyo Tokyo and Ninja because why not? I want to see how bad that movie is. What do I think? Well, this show could have been good. 
Well, it had flaws for, with, with the plot being completely trash and horrendously god awful. Triello, what? Fucking like. Triello, like what? Fucking. Eight, I think, of the, of the main heroes of the cast. Of the rate of the cast, like I already said, I already said that I already said that the robot assistant is annoying, and Toei should not have should not been sexualizing her. Just saying, the conductor is just blint, just whatever. <sighs> Pink is annoying. She's she like the, she's like the heir of the show. Red is just. What a, just bland. And Blue's just my, Blue's not my highest show. He's just unlikable. This, is this show, is this show like, is this show like with the potential? My personal opinion, yes, it actually is with the potential. Because it could have been really good, not gonna lie. Because like, freak. I really want to like this show. I really did, but just it didn't work out for me. So, so what the so what for? What my verdict for this show? Verdict for this show. My bad. It's not a. It's not a B. It's def. It's not F. It's a C. I gave it a freaking C minus. It could have been good, but yeah, there's more negative than positive for me for this show. So, there's also that. Like, the show just, the show misses something. Like, if it didn't copy off other Sentais, then it could have been really good in my opinion. But it just lackluster. It just didn't work for me. <sighs> Well, I know I'm probably to tear this. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I honestly don't know what my next what. I honestly don't know what 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 pop what what show I'm gonna review next. Well, since we're here, I will go on my I will go on my on my wheel. Because if you don't know, I have a wheel that I use to uh, watch, well, <laughs> Tokusatsu. So, uh, yeah. Well, I, I have a wheel to choose what show I'm going to watch now. So, I guess I'll go to it. So, let me go uh, find it. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. Uh, oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, well, my well, something at the real on my end. So I'm just gonna end this podcast. Thank you all for thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and post my notification on for the next video. And we're almost at sixty. We're almost at six hundred subscribers, which is good. And uh, my next my next video will probably be a, a discussion video. Not a toy review because well I'm kind of well I have a lot of import I want to make videos on but I can't yet I'm gonna wait till next month so yeah I'm kind of busy so yeah follow my social media description and oh uh, yeah my name's broken I'm out bye.